What is up, Yankee fans? This is Alex with NYY News. As you all know by now, Robinson Cano, former Yankee second baseman, former Yankee World Series champion, has been suspended for PED use. 80 games, no pay. This is a sad day. I understand that some of us are a little upset with Cano after leaving to go to Seattle, but nobody wants to see someone's career tarnished like this. It's put some asterisk on the on Super Town, let things change that way. It it puts a damp on his entire career. We've seen how it has affected guys like A Rod and Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds was never even tested positive for it. But regardless, I'm not condoning what Chino did. Guilty or not, everyone's got the excuses. We all know innocence will proven guilty, but you're always guilty by association. Whether it's fair or not. Like the world is not fair. So, I do want to touch on how the steroids do affect players and why it happens so often and why it won't ever go away. Think about your everyday jobs. If you can do what you have to do in order to get the next promotion or do what you need to do in order to make more money, you're going to do it, whether it's right or wrong. We all have mouth disease. We all have jobs. You see this a lot more often in the minors. When guys aren't really making that much, most of these guys don't have more than a high school diploma. They put their entire careers, their entire livelihood, in the idea of having a baseball career. And if they can't get past the minors where they make very little money in today's standards, they got to do what they got to do. They're going to be on, on the street really quick if they can't make it to the pros. they got to get paid. I'm not surprised that people do anything they can in order to get a competitive advantage whether it's right or wrong. If they had steroids before the 90s, you would have expected that everybody else would have been using them. Guys like Dave Root would have been doing it because you need to get that competitive edge, whether it's right or wrong. You're seeing it more with technology change. We all saw what happened with the Red Sox and they were cheating with Apple Watches. And more and more things are going to happen as technology changes and how science Changes. There's going to be better steroids and harder tests to come up with. I'm not surprised that this happens. It's a shame to see it happen. And, you know, if you're caught, you deserve every bit of punishment that you just handed your way. But don't be surprised if this just happens. And, you know, I have my suspicions, as we all do on certain players, you know, the, without me saying a specific answer is not fair, it's pretty obvious when certain guys are going for a new free agent contract and then they sign, all of a sudden after they sign, their power falls off. To me, it looks like someone has been doing steroids for a long time in order to get that big contract. Then once they get it, they are now more worried about their long-term health. Honestly, rightfully so. Steroids are not good for your body by any means, but the competitive edge will go put people to great lengths, whether right or wrong. You'll see it often, and it's not going to go away. I'm sure there's other big-name guys that went down. That being said, on what the Simonetti source had put up earlier, to piggyback on that, there are some guys that get a little bit of leeway. There are some guys that get hemmed up even harder. Guys like Sammy Sosa, who helped put baseball back on the map in the 90s, can't even go to Wrigley Field. It's a shame, and, you know, some people are just going to turn a blind eye to it. I remember when Ortiz popped for a specific drug, he immediately denied it, and it was out of the news in one day. However, guys like A-Rod, they go out to try and crucify him. It's not surprising that things like this happen, and people have their own biases. It happens all throughout. But, you know, if you're more of a white player in sports, you might be a little bit more leeway. Not fair. But, like I said, life is not there. If you want to stay out of this limelight, then do it old school and just hit the gym a lot. It's not fair, but too bad. You want to avoid getting hit with steroids? That's what you got to do. Don't do it. I personally don't believe the excuses. You know, jail is full of a lot of people that say they didn't do it. You know, and there's enough nutritionists and there's enough physical therapists, physical scientists working for every team to inspect everything that these guys put into their bodies first before 
they take them to avoid these kind of scenarios. So if they're still getting handled with steroids after that, then some people need to be fired, or more than likely they're just lying. Fair or not. So again, this is Alex with MLY News, and I'll see you on the next video.